Let's now look at arrays and basically how to create an array, uh, what can be stored in an array and how we inspect arrays to find out uh, quickly what values are in there um, using the printr construct which uh, is extremely useful. So let's take a look at the, uh, the basic syntax of creating an array. I'm going to create a variable called names and to this I'm going to assign an array. So we have the array keyword here and we have some brackets here. Now it looks a little like a function but it isn't. Uh, in this case all we're going to do is we're going to store data within this array of whatever type that we choose. Again we don't need to declare which type of data we're storing in here. It's very basic. And all this is, is it's a collection of data. Um, all it is is really just, yeah, it's, it's a list of data. Um, but there are certain differences between how we represent this data, um, whether it be an associative array or a numeric array. So in this case, we're just going to create a very, very basic array. We'll go ahead and inspect it uh, and see what what's actually happening here. So I'm going to create a comma separated list of values and these are stri all string values we can actually mix up the type of values as well we don't have to have all strings or all numbers it doesn't make a difference if we go ahead and look at this now browser it doesn't error or anything like that we we can mix up the values if we want to generally you won't mix up values if you're creating uh, arrays yourself. If you're pulling data from a database and you have different fields with different values and you're pulling back data as an array, um, you might of course end up with different types. But again, it's a loosely typed language, so if we're using type checking when we're looping through arrays, it doesn't make a difference. We can we can check things. So anyway, we've got three values in this array. Let's go ahead and try and echo out this array. Um, and we'll see what actually happens. You'll see here that when we refresh, we get a notice, uh, so not a not a, uh, a fatal error or anything like that, array to string conversion, and then we just get this array uh, keyword output here. So it's telling us that this is the data type of an array, and in actual fact, we are trying to convert it to a string when it's not a string. So what can we do here to just take a look at what, you know, imagine if we didn't know what was in an array. Um, how can we actually find out what's in this array and, and, and a little bit more about how this is represented? Well, what we can do is we can use print R and pass through an array. And this works with things like objects as well in PHP um, 2. So when we refresh, we see array as we saw before, but now what we're getting is a list of the values that are stored within our array. And we can see that these are indexed by numbers starting from zero. So it's zero indexed array now. And this is called a numerical array where we access uh, elements of the array by the numbers that they're stored at um, in a position. So in this case, Alex is at position one, but it's actually at position zero uh, as defined by this, this zero index so it's zero one two so that can be a little confusing whereas if you want to get the first element of an array you have to say uh, I want that that value at position zero which actually means the first value now this looks a little strange so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to echo out um, some pre-formatted HTML uh, an HTML element around this and what this will do is it'll actually preserve the formatting and it will give us a bit a nicer list to look at and it just makes a little bit more sense um, now we can of course pass true to this uh, and that will remove uh, that that little one item there so we now see that we have an array with 0, 1, 2 and the values that we've defined here. But what if we wanted an associative array? Now, what we can do is we can, for example, say, um, and to tidy this up, I'm just going to pull this down a little bit like this, like that. Now, what happens if I want to say um, person? I want to get rid of these, but I want to say their name is Alex. Their age is 24, and their location is London. 
So what I've now done is I've actually created an associative array. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to person and we'll just take a look at how this looks. And you'll notice that we'll remove these, we'll get rid of these numeric values here because we've now created an association between this key and this value. So this is the key of the array here and this is the value. So we now have an array that's holding details about a person but we're actually identifying what that data is by these uh, associations here. So that's all well and good but how do we go ahead about accessing this kind of data? Well as we previously saw, um, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. So as we previously saw, let's just change that back to names, um, we have uh, three elements to our array, and as long as we are good to go, what we can do is we can actually access these by their, by their numeric keys. So I could say echo names zero. So this is basically taking uh, the position zero and outputting the value that's within that. So in this case, we use square notation for arrays. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. We get Alex output here because that's a, that's an index zero in this array. The same if, if I was to use one, when I refresh, we get the same, Billy. And what we can also do is interestingly, we could say pos equals one, for example, or pos equals two, and we can pass in pos like that. And what that will do is it will get the um, position at two because we've stored that in a variable. So we can also mix things up a little bit. Now, if we were to use an associative array, it works in exactly the same way. So we can do, uh, let's just get rid of this. We can do, uh, let's change that to person. We can do exactly the same thing. We can echo person, but this time we don't want to say zero. Well, let's just see what happens if we do that. So it now says a uh, notice undefined offset zero. So the offset is the position and we don't actually have that available to us. So we can't access zero. Although this is technically position zero uh, or the first position, we can't actually access it like that. So instead we say position name. So this time we can say refresh, there we go. So we could do something like echo my name is X um, and I am Y years old and I live in Z. So we can go ahead and replace these and we can say person name. I am Y years old, so person age and I live in and we can say person location. So what we can now do is uh, actually access these elements of the array and output them into a string using their associative position. So the, the keyword that we give to them uh, to be able to access their values. So that's a very basic overlook of arrays. We basically built, learn how to build an array, um, inspect an array to see if it's a numeric or associative array, and then we've learned how to actually access the values of an array.